another movie Ooh, okay. What, what movie did you see? Kapala. It means chapel in um, Malayalam, the language from the region of India that, that she's from. Cool. Okay. It was very interesting. It's set in this uh, region of Kerala called um, w- Wayanid? Wayanid, oh, okay. I think. Okay. Which is very famous for like tea and it's very it has like very lush it's very verdant it has hills this okay. scenery the scenery of this movie was gorgeous gorgeous wow you know it was everything okay. was green and and beautiful it was very interesting because it was a um genre shift movie which Drisham, what does that mean it you think it's one genre and then halfway through the film it kind of switches so it, it, it's basically about this this girl um, who accidentally, you know, dials the wrong number one time and, and uh, accidentally calls this other guy on his phone and then they kind of have a romance over the phone. Okay. And, and it has, it's very, the first half of the movie is kind of like a romance, uh, almost a little bit of forbidden love kind of, kind of energy. The way so it, is it, it's a, it starts off kind of like a, like a romance, forbidden love. Now why is it forbidden? Is he from... Well, no, 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 it's just that well, she doesn't know him because the first half is basically in the background. Her parents are trying to arrange this marriage, right? right? And she doesn't, and like, kind of without her being involved at all. And <laughs> and she, you know, wants wants the guy on the phone instead. Right. And Although she's never seen him. She's never seen him, and they've okay. never seen each other. And then halfway through, it makes a huge shift. It, where it's, it suddenly becomes kind of action and intense and uh, a, a very different movie. It really turns turns everything you thought you understood on its head. It's a really cool concept. I like the genre shift uh, a lot. I was very impressed with the pacing of the first half of the movie. Like for, for you know, a romantic kind of... It, it could have been very slow, but in fact, I thought it was very fast paced. I thought it was also really good so at... So that's what I was picturing. It was like slower pace and all of a sudden, boom. So it, no, it, no. Okay. I would argue the pacing was better in the first half. Of the movie. <laughs> they were really good at building tension in sort of mundane situations, right? Because in the so there's in the background there's this marriage that she doesn't want to happen, causing there to be tension in the story. And then there are like very interesting shots where you know she goes to a bus stop, and the way the cinematography and the way it's shot with the camera, it, like it makes you just as uncomfortable as she was at the bus stop. It imparted that... Oh, how interesting, how wonderful. You know, like, okay. she's, she, you know, when, when you're in an unfamiliar Not place... She's wonderful that she's uncomfortable, but it's wonderful <laughs> that the cinematographer had that kind of skill. Oh, no, it was amazing. I, I, that was so tense of her, you know, being in an uncomfortable place, not knowing anybody there and, and, and people looking at her and just and, and strangers and just the way, the way it's shot, you feel really uncomfortable. It's great. I love wow. I love the way that was shot. No, was there music in it? Um, there was music. There. It was not a musical. Okay, um, so it was just background music. Okay. Uh, my understanding is Malayalam films aren't known for musicals. That they're, oh, okay. They're known for being more serious. At least that's what I've been told. Okay. Um, but there's still music in that. There's there's always there's always montages with singing over top. I I I've yet to watch a movie from India that doesn't have that yet. Okay. Um, but does it have a happy ending? Um, no. <laughs> I think that's up to interpretation. Okay, got it. Um, okay. I thought the genre shift was very cool. I was so happy that Anusha didn't tell me ahead of time what this movie was about. I had no idea what this movie was about. So I had, I did not go into understanding what was about to happen. And that was right. mind-blowing. Great experience. Definitely something that people should watch blind, right? Right, um, right. And I liked the concept. I think that the shift itself was a little too jarring, just the way it was done. Not the concept, just the just the uh, uh, execution. Okay. Um, there was because there's this part where um, one of them loses their phone, in, and then it gets picked up by someone else, right? And right. then the story kind of pauses to give you backstory on this guy who picks up the phone, right? And okay. Is the guy important? And should we get backstory on him? Yes. We did not need 18 minutes of it. <laughs> it, it was... 18 minutes of background. That was... Oh God, that who? Okay. T- I mean, no, he's important. This is not oh, a random okay. guy. He is important. 
and his backstory is important. I don't disagree that it that should be there, but it basically was a whole different movie for like what eighteen twenty minutes. It was wow. It was kind of crazy. They don't make it clear that it's been it's a flashback, so you, you're thinking, oh, does he have the phone this whole time? Like you don't you don't oh, quite realize that it. Wasn't, that wasn't made clear enough. No, okay, I, I, got it it might have been intentional not to make clear because the intentions of who this person is and what what what's his deal is intentionally vague, and I like right. that, but. There was all these subplots with him that went nowhere, and it, like there, it was basically a whole nother story unrelated to the main plot of the movie. Like they introduced this this gambling thing that was going on with him that went nowhere. Then they introduced him going to a job interview, which there's one piece of information that's important in that, and then the rest of it is like the whole the whole thing is goes nowhere. There's this woman that he has conversations with that she has one phone call at the end of the movie, so she's sort of relevant, but. She kind of isn't. Right. And there's also this... What was the other... Sub- oh, there's also a couple conversations where I, I think he's involved with, like, a political party in that city. Uh, and, like, there was a couple <laughs> conversations with that. That goes nowhere, too, by the way. I... It's... So, so a the, lot of that was completely unnecessary. Yes, I know what they... What feels like happened was someone thought really hard about the setting and, like, how these characters inter- are intertwined and what... About and, and just wanted to put it all on the page, but not all of it had anything to do with the main plot. <laughs> so it, it killed the pacing of the movie. Like, kill, okay, good, killed it, it in the water. Because you're like, the pacing was very good up until that point. It was really intense. And, it, and the losing the phone moment was extremely intense. Extremely intense. Right? And... And then all of a sudden we, we panned for 18 minutes to this other guy. It, and the whole time you're going, uh, what's going on with that other part of the story? Like, what's, what's, going on what's happening here? What's happening here? Uh, what? It, it, and then, and then once that flashback's over, the pacing goes back to being really good. It, it really is just that part that I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? It also becomes a fighting movie, like out of nowhere too, a little bit. Really? It's gr- oh, okay. it's like, wait, what? Why is why is there fighting now? <laughs> like what kind of fighting? Like martial arts? Uh, mostly just guys punching each other. Oh. Okay, just it, it's very okay. it's very street fighting. These are, <laughs> got it, got it. Overall, you like the movie. Overall, I like the movie. I thought the ending was almost a little abrupt. Um, okay. I think it was missing one or two scenes because the the core of the story is about the girl. Well, they might have in editing. They might have cut him out to make room for that eighteen minutes of, of that other part. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I think it told what it wanted to say. It's just right. The core of the movie is about the girl, right? The right. character of the girl, like, she, ha- she's one way at the beginning of the movie, and then she goes through this, this experience, and then she's different at the end. That's kind of, like, what's going to happen, right? But, right. like, what changed about her and the character, like, the ending didn't really... I don't think there was a scene expressing the difference. Because clearly she's changed as a person. She has to have. But... Right, right. I feel like they almost left a, a, a few loose threads about her character because clearly she needs to take, you know, be more involved in her life or she needs to to reach out. There's there's all sorts of things you could go with that. I, but I don't, I feel like they were missing a scene showing that resolution. They had a scene, to be fair. They had a scene. It just, I don't think it was enough. Got it. Personally. Got it. But it, it was fine. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was, I thought it was a, uh, a fun movie. It def you should not watch it. Okay, never mind. Why is it shows little kids getting hurt? No, it, it is about um the dangers surrounding women that you fret oh, about okay. all okay. the time about me. <laughs> right, right. And you Pretty don't much. you don't need to see that. I don't need to make you fret more. <laughs> okay, so this movie would make me worry about you more yes. than I already am. Yes. Okay. Without a question. Do not watch. Note to self. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, honey. All right. Well, that's... I'm glad you had fun with the new show. And um, I will talk to you soon. Okay, sweetheart? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.